Welcome back to the channel. This is Gvids here, and today when you're doing some rock sliding dumb down to the water's edge, you've got to know there's going to be some fishing. And this is going to be a good little spot. I just had, holy shit, look at that pile of fish right there in front. Easy pickings. These are going to be smallmouth bass, and I'll show you where we're at. We're right at the mouth of Hawkeye Creek and Upper Montana River. You just want to work your way down there just south of Strawberry. All types of smallmouth bass right here. You can load up your satchel, all 20 of them if you're upgraded in the, uh, uh, in the trader uh, role. It's uh, really late right now guys, so if I, I might get a little bit odd. Just saying, heads up off the start. Anyways, we're going to catch fish like crazy right now. Uh, these smallmouth bass are worth two dollars a piece. Um, if we're gonna have a full satchel, that's gonna be a quick, easy forty dollars, and we're super close to the butchers. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason why I thought I'd share this spot, just because we are super close to the butchers. So I'm not saying you should do this all day long, but if you're strolling by on your little horsey there, and you feel like just relaxing and maybe making a few bucks at the same time. This is a spot for you. So we're just going to use the old river lure here. You can use a f special lure if you really want to, but you don't need to. Uh, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, but we're going to bring in these fish in nice and quick. Uh, I was trying to cast towards the rocks here mainly because it's a shorter cast. As you see, I kind of fumble on a few of them trying to keep it short. Uh, but that's okay uh, if, if you cast far. I, they're they're the largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, any of the smaller fish like that you can fit in the satchel. They really don't take much effort at all to reel in, as all of you know already, since you have been fishing. I'm sure. Uh, I might a little suggest hop on the rock there too. I end up doing that uh, later on here. Uh, it actually gives you a little bit better view and some better leverage on the fish as well. And it kind of cuts out some of the animation, so you can kind of move faster as you want to recast. Ooh, the Condor Egg Hunt. Man, I always get those invites when I'm busy. I like that one. I've only done it once. Obviously, I didn't find the egg. Otherwise, I would have uh, let someone know about that. But, nah, I never found it. But it was a fun little hunt, though. I don't get invites for those very often. For some reason, when I'm on, I never get invites for anything. The odd time I, I get the odd one for the fishing challenges. I like those. Those are fun. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, if you uh, don't want to cast towards the rocks, you can actually just change your up wherever you want to cast. doesn't really make a difference. You're going to bring in fish left, right, and center. And uh, these ones are worth $2, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned already. Um, so yeah, we can fill up our satchel and make a quick, easy 40 bow. Now, I'm not too big on uh, glitches and stuff, guys. I know, obviously, there's, like, a duplicate glitch and the lobby hopping and all that crap, but I don't do that stuff. I like to use a game uh, pretty much how it is. If it's uh, got a really good spot where you're catching fish back-to-back, uh, -back, who needs a glitch or an exploit when you can uh, just use the game mechanics the way it's supposed to be used and uh, actually have a good time doing it because fishing is quite relaxing. And uh, we are probably quite close to the butchers, so if you do want to use it as a money-making method too, bam, there you are. It all works the same way. But uh, I'm going to hurry up and do this here. We're almost done with this uh, 20 fish. Now I may have uh, had a few in there already. I don't actually remember. But we're going to catch a few more. Hey, that one was green. It looked like a largemouth. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video here. Um, it would really make uh, make me really happy if you guys could uh, just leave a comment and say hello. That's uh, all I could really ask for. But other than that, uh, if you guys don't say hi to me, I hope you have a great time, great day or night, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.